Welcome to the ePoint Post Tutorials. In this video, I will walk you through the main menu cashier screen. Let's get started. Every time before access to ePoint software you require to do a login so systems. Knows what level you are logging in as a normal staff, cashier, supervisor, manager, IT administrator, or even an individual configurable access rights. This is the login screen. You have few options to log in. By keying in ID code, PIN, using PIN only, by swiping the access ID card, or using the fingerprint to access, of course fingerprint is hardware dependent. Right now you at main menu cashier screen. Main menu is the place where your daily operation required to open the business date, access to cash register to place order, end of day process to do closing for the day in POS system. We had two type of version for cashier and ordering program. That is standard version and theme version. I'm going to use the theme version for this tutorial. This is date and time on your computer. Business date where all our report is referring to this business shift code. Cashier name capture once you are logged in. Each program had their own terminal number. Company registered name. By clicking this button easily switch theme color. It's look pretty cool isn't it? All function button highlighted area is configurable. Just simply right click on specific mouse pointed highlight area and systems will had a small window called button mapping utility prompt for few selection. I choose new edit selection on existing button for explanation. This is button mapping utility screen. The only option is available is the function button. Function data is our pre-built function ready for used. Normally, ePoint engineer will pre-designed based on your business requirement. You may had your own display text. Semicolon is for line break. Add in picture. You may adjust the button height and width size. Change the foreground color for the button. Increase or decrease font size. Remember to save it. Oops. Is overlapping with others button. Don't worry. I guide you how to fix the situation. Just right click on button you just created. Select copy and erase function. Look for suitable area to suit your button. Right click choose the paste function. Simple. Isn't it? That's it for this video. Stay tuned to our next tutorial. Thanks for watching.